Hello friends, this is Chandramani and today I will teach you about RDS, its remote desktop sessions. We will configure in uh, Windows Server 2012 R2 and I will uh, show you how we configure RDS and how it will useful for you know system administrator. And again, I am welcome to you for this channel for this lesson and do not forget to subscribe my channel. So here I will explain to you like uh, <coughs> sorry. If you look at here, I have a two server here. One is uh, server 2012. Uh, this is uh, my AD, uh, Active Directory Domain Service has been configured here. And this is the normal Windows Server 2012. I ju it is just the member of uh, uh, this uh, AD. Okay, so let the full screen of this server. And here if you go to uh, my AD is mylab.com. Okay, and uh, this is the word the RDS. It's a remote desktop session. Here, what we will do, we will create the collection in the in the remote desktop session where we can put it the application and user can be you uh, know uh, use that application and one application can be used by a different uh, session. So this is what the benefit and you can set the uh, session voice and device voice session and uh, user voice session as well as you can take the remote desktop uh, uh, you know configuration here that I will perform here. So this is the my server 2012R to just open the server manager here. If once you open the server manager, you will get the dashboard in this dashboard. What you will do is just add a add role and features here. Okay. Click the next. And once you click the next, this option will be co come like role based uh, or feature based installation. Uh, but if you select this option, it will configure a single server by adding roles only. But we are not going to do the role based configuration here. I mean, it's we are not adding the only role here. We just wanted to configure the remote desktop services installation that is, you know, virtual desktop infrastructure that is called a VDA also. Okay, I mean session based in uh, desktop deployment. So I just click over the remote desktop service installations. Once you click over here, click the next. And there are the two options here, the standard deployment and quick start. Uh, these are the very important points to understand before configure these things because in the standard deployment uh, that allows you to deploy remote desktop service across multiple servers. Remember. It deploy remote desktop services across multiple servers but quick start what it will do it allows you to deploy remote desktop services on the server and create a collection and publish the remote application I mean remote app programs so for the testing environment and I am going to show you how to publish the uh, application and remotely and the session based remote desktop and that I will show you here. so just, that's the reason I am selecting the quick start and click the next year and there are the two points this is also important you know before configured before do the next you should read the properly and carefully and understand before doing the task here there are the two option <clears throat> one is virtual machine based desktop deployment and another is session based desktop deployment it allows user to connect the virtual desktop collection that includes the publishing remote app program and virtual desktops here like session based desktop deployment it allows <coughs> user to connect the session connection that include the publish remote app program here only the remote app but here it will get both so i just click over the session based desktop deployment click the next and if you look at here this is the my server i want to be a rds installation but there are the two servers are there you can install in both of remote server also but this is the in my case this is the my server if you look at the server name you can see it like let me open the command from here cmd and host name type just host name you will get the name of the server here so i, I just wanted to install in this server only so i just selected here uh, and your environment you need to select and here click over here you will get the server name here once came over here you can click the next and remember this is using administrator account to deploy So it will take time to, you know, uh, installation. Okay. Now what installation has been done, the following role services will be installed on the server named FS01 MyLab. So what are the uh, services? Oh, RD connection broker, 
RD web access and RD session host. The server will be restarted after the services are installed. Uh, the domain user security group will be added on the remote desktop user security group on the server. That means it is telling that uh, uh, once it is in, once it is configured, it will require the restart, and we need to add the group or user to uh, you know um, to using this. Okay, so just I check check mark this checkbox because it's it's required restart because it's telling it required restart. So just deploy. Once you start the deploy, it will take few you uh, know minutes. Uh, to configure it because there are the three steps three uh, services need to be uh, configured here one is remote desktop services role services and session collection the remote app program so till that time we need to uh, uh, in this uh, uh, in this session i mean in this uh, video and we will come back again once it is done in the another video so thanks for watching this video again see you on the next video thank you